ஹலோ ஹலோ டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் ஆல் வின்டர் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஐஜிசிஎஸ்சி கொஷின் பேப்பர் எம்சிக்யூ காம்பனன்ட் டூ த்ரீ ஓகே வி ஹாவ் ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு மெஷர் அ ஃபார்ட்டி சென்டிமீட்டர் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் சென்டிமீட்டர் லென்த் ஒயர் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் டயாமீட்டர் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ மில்லிமீட்டர் அண்ட் விச் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு யூஸ் So obvious answer is uh, it's around 48 cm so we can use half meter rule to measure the length of the wire and to measure the diameter of the wire of course we can use or we should use micrometer so we'll see so option C is the right answer okay a graph is given we have to find what is the distance traveled by the car in 35 35 seconds so if we notice that 35 is actually at the end so in any graph particularly velocity versus time graph um, or speed versus time graph the area under the curve is the total distance traveled okay so we have to find the area under uh, this curve so it's it's an uneven shape but we can break down into two triangles and one rectangle so first we will find the area of this triangle so the base length is 10 also the height length is 10 so half into base into height so it's 50 meter and then this triangle uh, sorry this rectangle so its base is 35 minus 10 which is 25 again height is 10 so the rectangle's area is length into width so 25 into 10 so 250 meter the next one is again so so in this case they are similar so either you can multiply this by 2 or you can again find the triangle so if we add all the area then we get the answer 350 meter so that's the answer option option b so in general if you can see the similarity you can simply multiply it by 2 but you have to little careful and then check the units double check okay so which property of a body results from the effect of gravitational field on its mass mm. so we know that weight is mass into gravity so in all the options weight is here d the volume is not affected by gravity the density is also not affected by the gravity the ability to, ability of the body to resist a change in motion is inertial property so it's not affected by gravity so the weight of the body is the right answer and so diagram is showing some instruments it's a, a balance mass balance and measuring cylinder a ruler and stopwatch which pieces of apparatus are used to find the density of a liquid so what do we know about density density is mass by volume so we need to measure mass of the object also we need to measure the volume of the object so if it is a, a cuboid or some regular shapes then we can use the ruler to find the volume if it is uneven shape like a stone or something we need to use the measuring cylinder and we can use the balance to find the mass so balance and measuring cylinder is the right answer option b question number 5 a uh, metal rod of length 8 80 cm so from here to here it's 80 cm is uh, pivoted at point o so it's like a hinge it's a, it's a center of mass is at its midpoint from 40 cm from here four pulley wheels are connected so rod is in equilibrium as shown what is the weight of the rod so this we can solve in two methods i just want to, so 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 this is the resultant force of this two masses okay so this is also pulled by gravity and this is also pulled by gravity so due to this pull is uh, this weight force is converted in upward here so this up force is equal to both down forces okay because they are connected by wire and uh, since it's in equilibrium so this red color force up force is equal to the weight of the scale downward so weight is 
this mass multiplied by gravity plus this mass multiplied by gravity so 0.10 kg plus 0.10 kg multiplied by gravity okay so which is 2 newton so this is easiest method to solve but this method is only valid when both forces are equal okay for example um, if this is some other distance and this is some other distance in this case both are same so we are not bothered so if there are some other distance then we need to use this method so collective moments so all the down moment okay from from margin the distance is 40 centimeter because it has told at its midpoint so 40 into the mass of uh, the weight of the scale or metal rod equal to so from here to this distance is 20 20 into 0 0.10 kg into gravity plus from here to here it's 60 60 into 0 0.1 into 10 okay so this 60 and sorry this 20 and the 60 are distance from the origin okay you can call it like that so in this way if we found so it's 80 by 40 again it's 2 newton and number six so so they are asking which direction the force will exist if the particle or ob object want to stay in the path of circular motion so we know the answer um, so it's always towards the center some might think in the direction of like tangent to the direction no but it's not for example earth is uh, revolving around the sun the force is towards the center and the force is provided by gravity uh, in the case of a stone uh, we are tying a stone in the thread and then looping it around means the force is provided by the tension okay yeah so it's d um, okay so which equation relates f m t u and v so all the equations have all the parameters so guessing is a little hard until we know unless we know the formula so we know that force is change in momentum by time so if we rewrite this uh, equation so we get the answer so it's c okay an object falls toward the earth's surface what happens to the gravitational potential energy and to the kinetic energy of the object so mgh is potential energy half mv square is the kinetic energy so mgh potential energy is directly proportional to height so if height increase the potential energy increase in this case the height decrease as it falls down so the potential energy will decrease so both the options c and d are invalid because they are saying the gravitational potential energy will increase no with high decreasing the potential energy also decrease now so we have two options saying gravitational potential energy decreases what happens to the kinetic energy kinetic energy is half mv square as as the object fall down the velocity will increase until it reach terminal velocity let's let's take that in this case air resistance is negligible so negligible mm -hmm. so as it comes down the velocity will keep on increasing so the kinetic energy will increase so first option is also striked out so option b is the right answer next uh, question number nine a skier um, pulled up by a short straight slope short straight slope at a constant speed by a rope okay the tension in the in the rope is 100 newton and there is a combined frictional and air resistance force of 20 newton acting on the skier the slope is 10 meter long and okay detail so what's one interesting thing is so we should not fall for this 20 newton okay why including this 20 newton only uh, only the i mean this 100 newton force the tension in the rope is including this 20 newton so we do not need to take this into account so that's a mistake we should not make Okay, we know that work done is force into distance. So force is in the form of tension in the rope, so which is 100 Newton. So this 100 Newton includes the 20 Newton frictional force and air resistance.
okay so we do not take the 20 newton into account separately so in this direction force is acting so what how do we fi find the distance of this slope line so that's why it's given that the slope is 10 meter long and rises 1.5 meter vertically so we can use the pythagoras theorem to find the distance so square root of 10 meter square plus 1.5 meter square so that is 102.250 so we can round it off to 102 so force is 100 newton and distance is 102 meter that we found and then the answer is 1022 newton meter so 1 newton meter is joule that we know joule so again it's round off to 1000 joule nice question okay so in some situations no not in some situations all situations force does work most of the situations which set condition set of conditions increase the quantity of work done by the force okay which connects work done and force we know that work done, work done is force into distance we just used in the last question so force is proportional to work done also distance is proportional to work done uh, sorry work done is proportional to force work done is directly proportional to distance both are direct proportions so both have to increase for the work done to increase so only option c which has both increase so option c okay a measuring cylinder of cross sectional area 4 centimeter square contains 224 centimeter cube of liquid the pressure of the liquid at the base of the measuring cylinder due to the liquid is 800 8800 pascals what is the density of the liquid okay it's a interesting question so first we have to bring the formula which relates pressure and density so the formula is pressure equal to rho gh rho is the density of the liquid that's what we have to form so i'm just rewriting the formula so in this what is the height of the cylinder we know the shape of the cylinder so it's just and uh, we know the volume of the cylinder area into h and area is given so it's 4 centimeter square so h we can find rewriting the equation again h equal to volume by a and then plugging this h into rho so i'm just rewriting everything so it's 8800 pascal divided by 10 meter per second square into 224 centimeter cube divided by 4 centimeter square so actually i suggest uh, everything has to be written in si units okay so i just rewrite so this 4 is denominator of denominator so it's going in the numeric numerator uh, so this centimeter squares i i just want to remove them replace them with meter square so I'm, i want to go standard use standard units so i am rewriting them now um, yeah so rest is simple so we have meter power 4 in the downstairs uh, meter in the upstairs so we will have kilogram per meter cube everything s and s power minus 2 and s power minus 2 will cancel out so it's 1571.4 kilogram per meter cube do we have that answer yes so it's rounded off to 1600 kilogram per meter cube okay uh, next question is the pressure of a fixed mass of gas in cylinder is measured and then the volume is decreased and provided the temperature is not increased okay what happened so we have to use uh, maybe eradication method we can remove the wrong answers first so option a is wrong because pressure is not constant it's not going to constant the volume is decreasing so pressure will increase so both a and d is wrong because pressure will not decrease or it will not stay constant and uh, both b and c pressure is increasing but b the pressure is zero okay so it's not possible because already it's established that there is a gas in a cylinder there is no zero pressure inside so option b is also wrong so c is the right answer so initially it has pressure and then as it moves on it's increasing so which statement about evaporation is correct okay so this is really we have to use the elimination method and we have to be a little careful okay so let's see first so option d 
is it necessary to provide an external source of thermal energy to a liquid for it to evaporate is it true yeah so we will think it's true but it's not actually in room temperature also it will evaporate even even if we don't provide uh, external energy in the room temperature it will evaporate okay and then uh, so option d is wrong and why one more reason why it is wrong also so we have something called a triple point uh, material can exist in three phases at same temperature so it can change phase okay a wind over a liquid decreases the rate of evaporation it's actually the opposite if more wind okay the rate of ev- evaporation will more because the wind will take the evaporated molecules there is a, like more more room for the new newly evaporated molecules so that's wrong a decrease in the surface of area of an evaporating liquid increases the rate of no actually it is directly proportional to the surface area more surface area more evaporation will happen okay that's also wrong a body in contact with an evaporating liquid loses thermal energy okay yes this is true and this is the reason why dogs stick out their tongues in summer because the water in the saliva in the dog's tongue will evaporate and it will keep the dog's body temperature i mean cool than the surrounding one this, this is the reason why we sweat and yes okay so option a is the right answer okay 14 which change in the design of a liquid in glass thermometer makes it more sensitive so we have discussed in multiple questions and particularly this thermometer shape the more volume of the liquid meaning more increase in temperature sorry more increase in volume more thermal expansion per per degree so it will be more sensitive a larger liquid reservoir reservoir okay a longer tube will give you longer range a wider tube will actually will blend the sensitivity it will decrease the okay yeah next 15 an ice cube of mass 12 g at 0 degree celsius absorbs thermal energy from surrounding at a rate of 3 joule per second the specific latent heat of fusion of ice is 330 joule per gram okay so where, whenever there is unnecessary rate of or something we have to be little cautious so i'll tell you why how long will it take for the ice cube to melt so if you are thinking of something relating specific latent heat and time you will not find a formula because they are two steps problem first you have to find so what is the energy so how much change in energy okay that we know the formula so delta e is uh, mass into the specific latent heat coefficient okay now so so we found the change in energy as this now if the if it is absorbing thermal energy from the surrounding at the rate of 3 joule per second so how long it will take for the ice cube to melt so now it's a second stage so delta e by 3 joule per second so 3960 joule per 3 joule per second inverse so which is 1320 joule sorry 20 second yep so it's b is right answer yeah okay 16 which piece of equipment is designed to produce a type of electromagnetic wave Uh, let's see electric fire electric generator electric motor electromagnet so actually current meaning something moving it's not an electro electromagnetic wave okay because current we are sending only electric field so electromagnetic field electromagnetic wave means electric field and magnetic field they are oscillator perpendicular to each other and it should be in the spectrum electromagnetic spectrum it will be okay so out of all these four electric fire is the right one because it will emit light 
so light is electromagnetic wave okay nice a passing boat causes a floating object on a lake to uh, bob up and down 18 times in 12 seconds the wavelength of the wave created by the boat boat is 48 48 centimeter so what is the velocity of these water waves we know the velocity of the wave is frequency multiplied by lambda so the lambda is given 48 centimeter but how do we find the frequency that's why that extra data is here so the bob goes up and down 18 times in 12 seconds so how many times it will go in one second so 18 by 12 so which is 1.5 so the second inverse is heads actually so v is 1.5 second inverse into 45 cent 48 centimeter so f is 1.5 heads so which is 72 centimeter per second okay so wave fronts are incident on on a boundary what is needed for the wave to refract at the boundary okay again uh, elimination question first uh, shiny surface at the boundary shiny surface will help to reflect but it will not help to refract so it's not the option then a small gap in the boundary if there is a small gap it will go directly it will not refract maybe diffraction will happen but it will not refract so b is also not right answer different mediums either side on the of the boundary in which the frequency of the wave is different no it won't happen either because let's see if blue light goes from glass to air it will either reflect inside the glass as blue light or refract as the uh, in the air as blue blue light so it will not change color meaning that the frequency won't change won't be changed so c is also not the right answer so only d is left but literally if you go to phet simulation you can see um, why a wave travels different medium different speed for example in air it travels at its maximum velocity um, in water less maybe in uh, water and glass a little less so different mediums either side of the boundary in which the speed of the wave is different that's the right answer okay next question oh this is again uh, one of the nice question critical question a person uses a magnifying glass to look at a stamp which day ray diagram shows a thin converging lens so this thin converging lens is a key point being used to do this okay so first what we can do we'll eliminate let's look at uh, option d so it's look like a it's not a converging lens it's it look like it's a diverging lens so option d is the wrong answer let's look at other options a b c so technically they are like looking like the right one but it's a thin converging lens okay so they are not mentioning where is this focus Let's assume that it's somewhere in the middle from the lens to the stamp or something. So if the stamp is closer, let's look at and see. They must, like if this is the distance, they should go like parallel if it is in the focus. So it's not going. So option C is also wrong answer. And same case for B. So they are meeting. In, in case of B, the stamp is much farther, but the rays are like meeting closer than the stamp so it's not the, so it's not actually enlarging so why it has to be used as a lens no so the remaining option a is the right answer reason one because the image is actually bigger than uh, uh, so bigger than the original image so it's a magnifying glass so a is the right answer nice okay the diagram shows so we are looking from i here so which position we will see the image okay so even though mirrors are 2d we will see like 3d kind of image so it will directly look opposite to the uh, object so like b position so the ray from the object will go like this so we will see it like this 
సో హోవర్ ఇట్స్ అ విర్చువల్ ఇమేజ్ ఎస్ బి ఇస్ రైట్ ఆన్సర్ ఓకే ద డయాగ్రామ్ షోస్ ద యాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ అ థిన్ కన్వర్జింగ్ లెన్స్ ఆన్ ద టూ రేస్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ వాట్ దే ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఇస్ విచ్ నే విచ్ నేమ్ ఇస్ గివన్ టు ద డిస్టెన్స్ ఆర్ ఎస్ సో వాట్ ఇస్ దిస్ డిస్టెన్స్ సో ద రేస్ ప్యారలల్ టు ద ప్రిన్సిపల్ యాక్సిస్ విల్ కన్వర్జ్ అట్ ఫోకస్ పాయింట్ సో ఎస్ ఇస్ టెక్నికలీ ఫోకస్ పాయింట్ so the distance between the center of the lens and the focus point is called the focal length so option c is the right answer next question 22 okay diagram shows um longitudinal wave okay because it's uh, compression and rarefaction which statement is not correct so this is where we have to concentrate a lot because we will see okay a maybe we will think which is correct so a first we see it's if it is correct then we will tick it so we should not make make that mistake which is not correct okay so at x now it is rarefaction so option a is saying earlier there was compression yes true so option a is a right answer sorry <laughs> option a is correct it's not a right answer see same mistake i was talking about later there will be refraction at x yes it will be so b is also right statement so not our answer this part of the wave is traveling horizontally across the page yes longitudinal wave the oscillation occurs parallel to the propagation so the wave is horizontal to the paper so this is also a right statement correct statement the this part of the wave is traveling towards the top of the page no if it is a transverse wave it will look like that it's not so this is a wrong statement so that is a right answer so d is the right answer nice okay the speed of light in a vacuum is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second which value is the closest to the speed of light in the air now need to think speed of light in the air is same as almost speed of light in the vacuum so 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second okay a 100 meter race is started by a firing gun the gun makes a ba- bang and put off smoke at the same time okay so it's like imaginary situation it won't happen because the s- smoke will come little later but let's assume that the smoke is there and the sound is made simultaneously so we are seeing the smoke so light is traveling also the sound we are hearing the sound so sound is traveling so what's uh what's the statement when we will see the smoke when we will hear the bang so we will see the smoke almost immediately because it travels in the light speed the sight sight of the smoke and technically not the smoke is traveling the sight of the smoke only traveling the light okay so option um option c and d is wrong let's look at option a so the smoke a and b almost immediately but the sound cannot be almost immediately because sound will it is 100 meter the speed of the sound is uh, around 300 meter per second so it will take 0.3 seconds to reach this position so c and d is also wrong almost immediately b is the right answer nice actually this this uh, i have seen this um, so from our rooftop we will see that fire works first we will see the light after 5 or 10 seconds only we will see the sound we will hear the sound yep once i try to calculate the distance uh, where it was going okay however next question b is the right answer sorry a student is demon demagnetize a bar magnet she tries four different ways okay so we know that uh, passing the direct current through the magnet so if it is um, depend on the direction but however it will not actually uh, give you a zero magnetic field because direct current will induce magnetic field okay so 3 is wrong and placing the magnet in the water it's irrespective of what goes in the water magnet is still magnet under water also so 4 is also wrong hammering the magnet yes it will demagnetize heating the magnet yes it will demagnetize 
so 1 and 2 only b is the right answer okay nice next question a student is investigating a resistant wire so first they are measuring the resistance and current in the circuit then uh, initially 50 centimeter wire was used in the second circuit 100 centimeter length of the same resistance wire is used okay what ha what effect it has on the current and effect on the distance so we know that v is i i into r and i is v by r so current is inversely proportional to resistance so if resistance increase current will decrease that we have to remember next r is rho l by a so resistance is directly proportional to length if the length increase the resistance will also increase okay so first the length is increasing the resistor is resistance will increase so option d is right uh, wrong answer because it says resistance will decrease effect on resistance no mm. option d says current will increase if the resistance is increased current will suffer so current will not increase d is also wrong answer so a and b says current decrease and uh, a is b says resistance increase and a says resistance decrease a is wrong answer because resistance increase and b is the right answer oh sorry i didn't mark it's actually b is the right answer okay sorry a resistor is connected to a cell so that there is a current from positive terminal of the cell to the negative cell terminal what causes the current in the resistor so this either you can go elimination method or direct answer obviously option c and d are wrong because it involves proton we have nothing to do with proton so it's wrong electricity is independent of proton okay now electrons are moving from negative terminal to the cell to the positive terminal and positive terminal to the cell to the negative terminal actually conventional current was discovered before they understood completely the properties of electron so the direct they thought that it will go from positive to negative so actually the electron travels from negative to positive so b is also not the right answer electrons moving from the negative terminal to the cell of cell cell to the positive terminal also in next question i have added one video you will notice that please remember this question why electrons move from negative to positive okay so a is the right answer next um, plastic rod is rubbed with a dry woolen cloth the rod becomes positively charged which statement is correct okay please throw away c and d I'm sorry protons okay so electrons become positive so it doesn't mean that you have to add more positive if a person want to become a good person he do not need to good, do more goods he just have to stop doing the bad things or remove the bad things okay analogy works so electron the rod becomes positively charged meaning that the electrons are moving from the rod to the cloth so a is also wrong answer b is the right answer yep okay so which combination of the current in a resistor and the time for which it, it is present result in a charge of 240 coulombs capital c is unit of charge coulomb passing through the resistor okay so we have the formula um, i equal to charge by time current is charge by time and if we rearrange it's i into time i into time so we have to have i current and uh, time if they multiply we get 20 240 coulombs okay so i am giving this a uh, unit i in ampere and t in seconds we have to always use standard units okay you will know why so 240 coulomb so which combination of i and t in this so option a 2 ampere into 120 second so which will give 240 second okay okay i just want you to look at option c if you multiply 6 and 40 also you will get 240 but it's not 6 ampere and 40 seconds it's 40 minutes if you convert this into second again you have to multiply by another 60 so that will go to roof yep so please don't make that mistake in any question yeah next question 
each potential divider is placed in a circuit with a power supply so which potential divider makes the potential difference across component y increase increase when the light intensity increases okay first it has to do something with light intensity so we are talking about light dependent resistor ldr so please option c please option d bye bye okay so we want to see the increase in resistant across component y so meaning that the other one's resistance should decrease we know how potential divider work so if the resistance increase the potential difference will increase or if the other resistance decrease our potential difference will increase so b is also wrong because if it is b then y's resistance will decrease as more light ldr directly uh, the resistance is directly proportional to the intensity of light so more light means less resistance so option a is the right answer so x resistance will decrease because of that y's potential difference will increase okay okay next question sorry a is the right answer two resistors r1 and r2 are connected in series in the circuit as shown so so this is the first circuit simply current is going so r1 since there is a resistant the full current will never go through this okay two resistors so let's take in this case it's i0 and at the second case one more resistor is included parallel to the r2 so what will happen to i1 and i2 compared to i0 uh, current in r1 and current in r2 this is a question okay so actually i can explain but it will take 5 minutes so instead of that i'm going i'm just going to show you the simulation okay uh, so what we have here is i0 so what we have here is i0 Uh, yeah okay i want to show you the uh, small simulation i made sorry yeah so it's as shown in the figure i made both the circuits so if i close the switch you will see the current is 45 ampere i didn't change anything for the second circuit same battery same resistors just one more resistor of same value okay now you can see that the current is increased in i1 but it has de- comparatively it's less than i0 in the i2 the reason is in parallel circuit means you have more place to go so the current will increase okay so i1's current is increased compared to i0 and i2 current has decreased compared to i0 and also note notice the direction of electron okay yeah so the answer is d i1 is greater than i0 and i2 is less than i0 okay 32 the diagram shows a circuit containing a cell a lamp and two ammeters the current reading on ammeter 2 so we have two ammeter the current reading on ammeter 2 is 0.20 ampere what is the name of name for this type of circuit and what is the reading in ammeter 1 first it's series circuit so both c and d is gone it's not a parallel circuit you know the difference between series and parallel just last video uh, last question we see in the parallel in the second question okay second case okay option a and b second the current will same throughout the circuit until you decrease the resistance so it's the same resistor 0. Point, so sorry same current 0.20 ampere if you give one more bulb maybe the current will increase yep okay so a is the right answer next question okay this question i understand what you think uh, i had the same thing but it's actually not has to nothing do with the circuit okay so only you just have to look at and gate and before that y is there the question is the warning light will come on if the output z is 1 okay the door r is open the temperature sensor s is cold and the main system switch is on 
so main system switch t on means the other input is one for the and gate okay when and gate will give warning uh, one when z is one warning light is on so and will give one when both inputs are one so option d is the right answer one and the warning light is on that's all nothing to do very easy okay so four small compasses are placed around the solenoid a current is going in this direction so we know what is the direction of magnetic field in the current going current carrying conductor okay so either you can use the law left hand law or so you know the inside the coil it goes like this and then outside the coil it goes like this so from uh, yeah in usually it's north to south in permanent magnet and in this case current going inside direction to current going outside direction okay so which go, matches with this description option d yep good so actually please refer the book you, you will see the detailed magnetic field lines next time i will add it here oh, sorry okay so which metal is used for the core of a transformer so this is for a reason igcc asking this type of question so actually it's made up of soft iron maybe igcc level they do not explain why soft iron is used because of its permeability for the magnetic field it's very high okay so that's why soft iron is used in transformer so the coil linkage will be very good um, by for transferring the field okay thank you question 36 okay so they are asking in which direction the coil have to move sorry the wire have to move for the current in this direction so actually i feel something is wrong with this question but i am not sure uh, please check this question whether it's right or not okay but since there is uh, no one more wrong, uh, right option so we will select the closest option that's how i worked on it okay so we want so we have the magnetic field in this direction so it's north to south and then we want current in this direction okay so so the coil the wire has to move perpendicular whether it's up or down so by fleming right hand rule we have to use then it is down but down is not in the option obviously we have to move vertical so a is the closer one closest one so so my bet is on a so actually if some some arrow in complete opposite to a then that would be the exact right answer so maybe it's move we have to move and then bring back it down like that okay nice please uh, refer fleming right hand law that's a dynamo rule okay a thin metal foil is placed in vacuum alpha particles are fired at the foil and most go straight through a very small proportion of the alpha particles are deflected very small proportion of the alpha particle are deflected through large angles what does this provide evidence for hmm okay let's see what we can eliminate there are neutrons in each atom let's throw that guy first there are negative electrons in each atom but these negative electrons are not capable or not so strong enough to reflect this alpha particle so let's throw that guy off alpha particles are very small we have no idea depending on this result because whether they are small or big if they are repelled they will come back okay there is a tiny nucleus in each atom because of this tiny nucleus is positive then it is reflected so small portion of alpha particles are reflected so c is the right answer nice okay next question the table compass alpha radiation beta radiation and gamma radiation which row is correct okay which is incorrect beta so alpha beta gamma gamma is a electromagnetic radiation so a and c have possibility and beta is not electro electromagnetic radiation so that's gone beta is also not a proton so a and d is also gone so a is not a right answer sorry b is not a right answer beta is not a proton so a is also not a right answer 
beta is not an electromagnetic radiation so d is also not right answer c is the answer alpha has more ionizing than beta and gamma and beta radiation is electron and alpha radiation is electromagnetic radiation okay sorry gamma radiation nice okay next question a high voltage power supply is connected to a metal grid a wire and a wire as shown a radioactive source emitting alpha particles so what happens is this alpha particles are emitted and there is a high voltage between this metal grid and wire so we can see the sparks observed like in this direction because the alpha particle will ionize air molecules once they are ionized uh, they will actually disturbed by this high electric field right so they are producing sparks they are in the spark they are trying to align themselves in the spark so actually a eliminating method won't work so meaning simply that they are strongly ionizing so d is the right answer okay okay so this is also like uh, one more question where you can make mistake easy so half life period is 4 hours the background radiation is 36 counts what the which combination is correct okay so we know that after removing back rate radiation this means that the count rate after 8 hours is zero because 36 minus 36 is zero a radioactive will never go zero okay so a is wrong answer so what's actual formula count rate after n half life is count rate by 2 power n so before that we have to separate the background radiation so we will minus 36 from all the values so 2 on 2 minus 7 7 uh, 36 is 176 okay i just have minus 36 from all the values let's try for uh, option b so 178 76 divided by 4 2 power 2 is 4 n is 2 after 2 life okay 4 hour means 8 hour uh, 8 hour is 2 half life so 176 by 4 is 44 no it's not the right answer and uh, c 224 by 4 is 56 yes c is right answer let's check for d also okay c is the right answer but where you can go wrong is without without subtracting the background radiation if you just try to calculate 212 divided by 4 you will get 53 exactly so you will think this is right answer no it's not right answer so c is right answer okay oh this is the 40th question Mm, nice yeah thank you from 21st century education visit 21c.in